Welcome back to episode three of my pissy floor. The piss floor. So called. It's a rainy uh, Sunday morning here in my beautiful city. You can see there's been some developments with the storage situation. Good stuff. Ignore that for now. Um, so just to give you a quick run through on what we've been doing. I've been cleaning the floor with baking soda and vinegar. We throw down the soda. We get a reaction with the vinegar. That's what we did first all over this entire floor. Uh, then we tried to not so great effect this nature's miracle stuff. I suspect it would be better if um, it was an old piss that we were dealing with, but I tried it. I tried it all the same and it, it tried. An effort was made. Didn't work though, so we're going back to this. Last episode, we heated up the vinegar with the baking soda to see if it would achieve to greater effect what we were trying to do. And it does seem to have been better. It, it is a trick that I wish that I knew before I was going into this. But that said, we got about as far as we could with this. And um, I finally gave up and went for the pine saw. Um, it's a phenol cleaner, I think has lemon essential oil in it, I believe. It is a very, very strong substance. If you haven't used it before, it's like a form of oil soap. Um, the directions say to dilute it in a bucket and just wipe it on the floor and you're good. You don't even have to rinse it, but, and let us, um, let us reference the back text in Espanol now. For tough jobs, use full strength and rinse immediately. So, that's what I did, I don't know, here after the hot vinegar, oops, out of focus, here after the hot vinegar, or really here, we did it, how you, how you like this, is this OSHA compliant, is this OSHA compliant, anyway, <laughs> we, we did it on the floor over there, I did it on the floor a little under this as well, not like I needed to, I mostly dilute, used just diluted on that area, but it's become clear to me that here, literally here, is the most problem area in the entire house. Everything else on the floor, I'm literally gonna put my nose down to like right here. It smells fine. There's no, there's not even a hint of piss, but over here. Ugh, God, I can't believe I did that on camera. Okay. It smells very ammonia. Um, it doesn't really smell like pee though, which is a huge improvement. I'm quite happy. But that said, I did the the hardcore strategy twice on this area, and that's what we got. So I'm feeling like today is the final stretch. We're gonna use the straight pine saw again, only on this area. I suppose after this video is over, I might smell tests like behind me here under this furniture. But um it's been a piss journey, everyone. I, I hope I can get it good enough. I don't, I'm not sure I've said anything in these videos, but um, this is supposed to be, this little piss corner is supposed to be my workspace, so I haven't been starting on streams or doing much of anything really because of this. <laughs> That's gonna be my power strip um, for my computer. So, uh, God, what can you even say? What can you even say about this situation? Well, I hope you guys learned a lesson. Um, never stop trying and take care of your pets. It's really important. I guess I wanted to end off with saying that if I can't get this area very defumed, I have this leftover plastic from when they moved the mattress in box spring into our apartment. So I was thinking I might cut that to size and put it here and maybe put a rug over that and sort of do the same for other areas in the kitchen as well. Um, that's, it's kind of the coward's way out, but I don't think anybody could call me a coward at this point, considering how much I've done and how much I've dared to do because of the situation. So, um, I hope you have enjoyed this short video series. I might update you depending, especially if something goes wrong, I'll let you know, cause it's funny, but, um, let's, uh, Let's be done with this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start. Um, I'll just show you literally what I do, cause why not? Okay, we got our pine saw. 
we got this rag. We got our boots, our cleaning boots on, and all the stuff I haven't unpacked. <laughs> and we got this bucket of nasty ass rags. And we're gonna come over with that. Really, I should start with fresh water, but who wants to see that? Who wants to do that? Is it a little more dangerous not to clean the water? Yeah, because <clears throat> the concentrated pine saw is kind of intense, so this is literally what I've been doing. Do not do this at home unless you have a situation like mine. So we just wipe that straight pine saw right on here. And the label says do not leave it, and I believe that, but I am going to leave it in the meantime while I... Oh god, that's a lot. Uh, pine saw is extremely cheap at the grocery store. It's like two bucks and 30 cents or something like that. Um, just so you know, it's good for this shit. Um, it comes in nicer smells. There, so there's something else called like Fabuloso that someone said I should try too. But I think it's basically the same thing. It's a form of oil soap. So, and pine saw is a little cheaper and I've used it before so I know how good it is. All right, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do that with a gloved hand, but whatever. So let's just apply that a little bit more evenly. Sorry, I'm not being a very good camera woman. And now I'm gonna go in with these nasty rags <laughs> and rinse it. I may actually go in with fresh water here and clean it. I'm wearing a, a beautiful $1 dress today that I'm probably going to ruin from getting the pine saw on it, but say la vie. It was a buck, what can I say? Just giving you an idea. Ooh. Anyway, sorry, I'm getting old. I can't do this shit now. I guess I can get on my hands and knees, but like bringing up the hem of my dress in the back and doing like the half squat is not working for me, so... Plus, remember, you're dealing with a woman who's been doing this for weeks. So I really don't have any, I have no fight left in my body, even though the heart is willing. So just swipe that shit down. Don't electrocute yourself on the fucking three-prong outlet. <laughs> If any, if nothing else, it's good exercise, but I probably shouldn't be, I'm dubious about the effect of cleaning chemicals on one's workout. Oh yeah, I'm juicing all right. <laughs> anyways, I don't know, I feel like I should get some fresher water for this, but anyways. Um, let's get this dried up. Thanks for watching. I think it's going to be okay from now on. You'll certainly hear from me if it's not.